Okay, I think the next thing I'm going to remove is this uh, chip guard. There's a couple of uh, socket head screws on the back that uh, keep it in place. You can get access to them. Maybe not. Off. And that gives us access to the uh, back of the uh, saddle. Okay, we're able to get back uh, behind the Gibbs with a screwdriver, loosen that a little bit. Going up to the front, Gib. Loosen that. I'm going to go ahead and take it right out. This one comes out a lot easier than the other one. Okay, let me get my picture. know which way it goes back in. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm uh, going to loosen this uh, lock here that uh, holds the hand wheel in place. Okay, once I get these off, I'll be able to crank this back and uh, take off the uh, slide. Actually it would have been easier to crank it back and then loosen it. Also it would have been a great idea to wear different clothes. Okay, and the only thing holding this in place is this um, lead screw nut, which we should be able to get at now from the back. It's got two cap screws. Okay, after a bit of messing around, it turns out it is actually a 5 uh, millimeter bolt. It's just really tight uh, for a 5 millimeter bolt. So you just have to loosen these enough for that to happen. You can see that the uh, nut dropped down into the slot. It's just held in by these two set screws and they can slide it out. And that is the anti-backlash nut for the y-axis. On the side of the saddle, uh, this 
anti-backlash nut is held in by two uh, cap screws. They're five millimeter. Just have to back those out, and this one comes out as well. This just slides off. Set that down somewhere safe. Let me go ahead and take off these uh, um, screws for the uh, for the uh, chip shield. That's how that went on there. 